watching High School Volleyball on KMVT. This is a KMVT sports presentation. This drive for seven is officially underway. The St. Francis Lancers in the NorCal playoffs hosting the Vikings of Pleasant Valley from Chico. Hello again, everyone. This is George Devine with you at the Rouse Memorial Gym on the St. Francis campus in Mountain View. St. Francis, the Northern California champion in Division II, the last six seasons begins what they hope to be their seventh straight trip to the state championship round. Last year, the Lancers, after winning the state title two years in a row, finished second in the state. The starters have been introduced. The two teams greet each other at the net. St. Francis checking in with 24 wins and six losses. Fresh offer a round of Leland in the CCS championship. They won nine, two, and four. And if you do a little math right there, the final score in that match, St. Francis 45, Leland 15. There you get a look at Pleasant Valley out of Chico, out of the Eastern Athletic League. Pleasant Valley losing in the Northern Section Finals to Shasta, the team which they shared the co-championship with in their league. We'll get a chance to take a look at the entire tournament. We look at the brackets. NorCal's number one seed, Napa, takes on Piner of Santa Rosa tonight up in the wine country. Napa's only lost once this year. El Dorado taking on Shasta up in Redding. That's the four versus five match. Then in this match, St. Francis, the three seed, taking on the six seed, Pleasant Valley. The winner awaits Albany and Leland. Leland visiting Albany tonight. So Dave Gamlin on the St. Francis Lancers. Well, you can say they're experienced th playing volleyball this time of year. Dory Dyer, the head coach of Pleasant Valley High School up in Chico, in her first season as a high school head coach, and Dave Gamlin of St. Francis. He's been around for eight seasons of working the sidelines here at the Rasco Memorial. In fact, in those seven years, or those eight years, he's been to the state championship match six times, hoping to go seven for eight. So, the starters on the floor, ready to go. And we shoot out a good one for you tonight from Mountain View. Dave Gamlin had talked about in the newspaper today the outstanding fan support the Lancers get from the partisan folks here at Rascob Memorial. Talking about that seventh player advantage, always important. So the officials getting set and ready to go. As you might recall, St. Francis won the De Anza Division this year with an 11-1 record and then marched through the CCS playoffs as we look at Danny Carmain, our lead official. Dave Iniguez is on the floor. Kelly Shepard and Steve O'Brien are on the lines. Jenny Strick will serve to start things out for St. Francis, and she plays it over. Set up on the far side for Pleasant Valley. And here's Nikki Hartley, runs it into the net. Pleasant Valley forced a free ball, sent over by Lockhart. Here's Hartley again, and she hammers it down off the touch. Point Lancers, St. Francis out with a quick 1-0 lead as we're just underway here in the first round of the NorCal Division II playoffs. Strick again on service, joined by Millichap, Hartley, Heil, Mariani, and Rook on the floor. Fiak sets it up far side for Owens. And the Lancers misplay, so sign out to the Vikings from Chico. Aaron Fiak to serve for Pleasant Valley, a bullet. Here's Hartley on a swing play. That's a strike down the outside. Very quickly, one and done for Pleasant Valley. Sign out St. Francis. Again, we take a look at the bracket. First of all, we get a chance on the replay right here to see what Hartley did. V 
Fiak with a long run for Hill. And Rook recovers for the Lancers. Here's Nikki Hiles' first kill attempt of the game. Out of the back row, that's Taylor on a free ball. Here's Hartley. That had a vapor trail. 2-0 Lancers. Nikki Hartley putting a lot of punch behind that. Get another look right here. You see the back set for Hartley. She swings right into it. Real tight squeeze on the set for St. Francis. There's North. And she hits it long. The Lancers go up 3-0. Stacy Millichap still doing the serving. Works from the middle of the lane. Viak has trouble on the set. Played out of the back row by Taylor. And there's Desiree Rook off the block. And it's 4-0 St. Francis. So Desiree Rook, when she gets on that left side and has room to work, can be tough. And Millichap will try to extend the St. Francis lead. Heil knocked it over. Sent wide by the Vikings. Dave Gamblin's club with a 5-0 lead. In the early goings of game one. And Millichap ready to go. Net serve. That ends a string of four straight points for St. Francis. Dory Dyer and her club down 5 0. After taking the long ride down here. And another one and done as Krista Hill serves into the net. So Kelly Sloan and Kathy Hansen in for the Lancers as Mariani and Hiles sit down. Hansen up front. Here's Taylor on the outside. Lancers have to scramble. Free ball by Millichap. And knocked over the middle for Pleasant Valley by Owens. Christiane Owens, a 6-2 middle blocker, ran it the whole way. Watch it again. You see the bounce back on the free ball. Here comes Owens with the right hand. Side out. They get point, Pleasant Valley. It's 5-1. Hartley has to go to the floor. Here's Desiree Rook. Here's Taylor. Rook digs it. Set up front, Hartley. Sign out, Lancers. Take another look right here. Here comes Hartley. We have to correct the score for you, folks. It's 5-0. And Hartley to serve. So Hartley serves it into the net. Two straight service errors by St. Francis. And Adassa North take a long runway in her serve. She sends it long. Kelly Shepard with the call down on the right-hand side of your picture. And Desiree Rook will get her first chance to serve this evening. Fiak dinks it over. Now Millichap on the opposite end. Fiak setting up Taylor. Millichap plays it. Here's Hansen over the top. Millichap. Another chance for Stacy. Off of Hill into the net. Side out St. Francis. Make it point St. Francis. Take another look right here. So six serves, zero in game number one. And Rook tried to paint the line, just missed the trim. So here's the man, the Taylor, to serve her club down, zero to a half dozen. Hansen taps it over off of Hill, side out Lancers. Mariani and Heil come back. Sloan and Hansen sit down. And Mariani, the sophomore to serve. A floater into the Heil block. Pleasant Valley recovers. 
Here's Milichap. Hammered off the block. Point Lancers. 7-0 St. Francis. And a timeout called by Dory Dyer and Pleasant Valley. So St. Francis out to the quick lead here at 7-0. Dave Gamblin still not satisfied wanting his troops to extend that lead. Dory Dyer trying to explain to her club, even though you're on the road and even though you're playing against one of the better teams in the state of California, there's no reason to lay down and play dead. It's a long ride down here from Chico. In fact, you ever driven it? It's about four hours from Butte County down to the Santa Clara County area. Always hard when you don't have fans coming with you and you're playing in unusual surroundings. So it's 7 nothing St. Francis. St. Francis serving out of this timeout. And Julie Mariani, who served on the previous point, gets another chance here. She floats it up front. Fiac sets it up for Lockhart. Long run for the Lancers. Hartley free balls. Fiac for Hill. Hammered long. 8 nothing St. Francis. Hill a 5'11 outside hitter. Put too much on that. Now Mariani again to extend the lead. Another float serve. Long set for Hill. Into the block, Heil and can't handle. It's a side out for Pleasant Valley. So a rare Lancer blocking error. And Jana Lockhart to serve. Into the net, the call on Christensen. Point Pleasant Valley. So one will serve eight in game number one. Remember, it's a best of five. You need to win three. To get out of here with the victory. Christensen for Milichap. Long set Hill has to readjust, but didn't readjust enough. Side out Lancers. Hill was misled on that ball on the FIAC set, and it changed direction while it was headed her way. Jenny Strick off the bench to serve. Christensen sits down. This is Owens. Strick setting Hartley. Down for the point. Ten one St. Francis. Watch Nikki Hartley. This is a good shot. Over the back, down on the floor. Nikki makes it look easy. Long run for Fiac, setting Hill. Sent wide of the antenna by Hill. And the Lancers get a point. 11 to 1, the score here in game number one. It's a lot of Uno. Here's Hill again. That's wide. And it's 12 1, St. Francis. Strick still serving. Strick for Milichap. Into the block, Milichap recovers. Strick again, this time Hartley. Off of the block, Fiac has time to set. Here comes Hill. There's Heil, bounces off one, bounces off another. They have to free ball, it's a tough angle. Pleasant Valley gets it over. Here's Hartley on the deck, 13-1 St. Francis. He's got something to dance about. Nice job by Pleasant Valley keeping it alive, but here comes Hartley with the hammer. Too much to handle. Here's Owens. Tough ball, but Heil recovers. And Pleasant Valley can't get their communication down, and it's 14-1. Here in game number one. And Strick serves on game point. And it's an ace. 
point and game and a one game to none lead for St. Francis here in the first round of the Northern California playoffs. After game one, St. Francis leads 1-0. You're watching the NorCal Division II quarterfinals on KMVT. Welcome back to St. Francis where the Lancers won game one 15-1. Pleasant Valley not feeling very welcome at all in the Rouskop Memorial. Along with the fellas in the hats, I'm George Devine. Thanks for joining us tonight on KMVT. Northern California quarterfinal action in Division II Volleyball. Aaron Fiat getting set to serve to start game two. As Pleasant Valley gets first service in the second game of this best of five affair. Still waiting for the whistle from Danny Carmain, our lead official, and there it is. And Fiat plays it over. Strick setting out the net for Rook over the middle. Side yeah, out Lancers. So one and done for Pleasant Valley. You talk about one and dones in the first game. They had four of them. Strick serving. They did have one point. Tight squeeze. Strick bumps it over. And there's North. And point Lancers. And Strick gets another chance to serve. The 5'7 junior sends it over. That's Owens. Here's Desiree Rook with time. Into the block, off the block, North with the last touch. It's 2-0 St. Francis. St. Francis disposing of Dory Dyer's club. Pleasant Valley in 11 minutes in game number one. Strick serving with a floater. Fiak sets it up close for Owens. And that's in, says Steve O'Brien, the linesman. And Dave Gamblin's club surrenders service for the moment. And Krista Hill to serve. Hartley over the middle has it sent back by Owens. Here's Coyote to the floor, yes! Side out Lancers. Andy Coyote, don't let the pigtails fool you. And Desiree Rook to serve. Here's Taylor, Hartley has a tough time. Sloan has to free ball. And here's Taylor, off a of Strick. Side out, Pleasant Valley. First time we've really seen the Lancers having to scramble the length of the floor tonight. And Christiane Owens is set to serve. Owens, a 6-2 middle blocker. Very long arms and good extension at the net. Hartley has to adjust. Owens out of the back row. There's North into the Hartley block. Roof. And it's a sign out for the Lancers, and Hartley will serve. Christensen comes up front, and Sloan takes a seat. And she sends it long. That's a side out for the Vikings. Two nothing in game number two. St. Francis won game one, 15-1. Strick for Noah Chap. Noah Chap coming out of nowhere to kill that one. It's a side out for the Lancers. They missed it the first time. There you go, Noah Chap off the touch by North. And Christensen on to serve. Tight squeeze up front. Four hits the call. Lockhart couldn't get it over. Somebody's hiding behind Dave Gamble. Julie Christensen sends the ball in play. 
Here's Taylor into the Hanson block. Out of the back row, that's North. Sent wide, it's 4-0 Lancers. Christensen again. Fiak up front, feeding Lockhart. Hartley plays the free ball. Here's Heil on the swing. Down for the point, 5-0. And if you're keeping track of the total aggregate score, as we watch Heil again, just drew it off the block. 20 to one so far tonight. There's Taylor. That fools Hartley, side out Vikings. If Nikki Hartley has one weakness, it's playing the floor ball. Now Amanda Taylor to serve. A chance for Noah Chap. The roof is wide and it's a side out for St. Francis. Probably say the roof slopes too much in those situations. Millichap serving. Yeah, Millichap and Hartley miscommunicate. Lancers forced a free ball. Christensen got that over somehow. And there's Hill. Lockhart. Christensen for Rook. The floater does the job. Longest rally of the game, and the Lancers survive for the point. Desiree Rook with the exclamation point. Now Jennifer Kraft up from the JVs will spell Nikki Hartley. Kraft a 5'8 sophomore. Noah Chap serving. Here's Hill. On the ground. Side out Pleasant Valley. And Laura Pangagetti will come on to serve as Lockhart sits down. Zero serves six in game number two. St. Francis won the first game 15-1. Here's Heil. That's long. And Point Pleasant Valley. Panagetti serving. 6-1 our score. Here's Rook trying it for the side out. She gets it off the touch. And it's a side out for St. Francis. Kelly Cognac comes on for Kathy Hansen and Cognac will serve. Out of the back row, that's Taylor. Hartley digs it up front. Here's Nikki again. Even the lines person had to get out of the way. 7-1 in St. Francis. Courtesy of double one. We'll take another look. Long set for Hartley. Hammers it down. Up front, blocked by Pleasant Valley. St. Francis scrambling. And a side out for the Vikings. One of the few things the Vikings have had to cheer for this evening. Now Kelly Sloan gets set to come back for Kelly Konya. Fiak serving long. Sign out Lancers. Now Mariani will come back along with Jenny Strick. And Strick will serve. They get Coyote instead of Mariani. Fiak, tight squeeze, behind for Hill. Yes. So one and done for the Lancers. We haven't seen too many of those tonight. In fact, in this game, three one and duns. In the first game, only two. Strick for Hartley. Just inside the line, side out St. Francis. Seven serves one in game two. Desiree Rook, a lot of space behind the line to work with.
Fiak for Taylor. Long run for Milichap. Into the bench. Sloan. Put, hoping it'll go over. But it falls short of the net. Side out, Pleasant Valley. String of four straight, one and dones for both clubs. And Channel Lockhart is back for the Vikings. Strick for Coyote. That's in. Side out, St. Francis. Kathy Hansen is back for Sloan. As Hartley is in the back row to serve. Here's Taylor. They recover from the roof. Over the block this time. Coyote with time for Millichap. Push over. North sent it over. And now Coyote sends it back. Miscommunication, four hits. Point Lancers. That breaks a string of five straight unconverted side outs here in game number two. Eight one St. Francis. Fiak for Lockhart. Rook to Strick. Here's Coyote. Taylor. Played by Hartley. Strick with time. Has Milichap. That's down and it's 9-1. So Milichap working the far side. St. Francis using the angles. You see Milichap really winding up and going off that block. There's Trent and Scharenberg. Totally oblivious to what's going on on the floor. Just shaking that towel around. Saying to his mother, Julia, I want to go to sleep under this blanket. Back to the live action in the Pleasant Valley side out. Hansen sneaks it over, and the Lancers get it back. I remember as a little kid going to Madison Square Garden with my dad to watch basketball. You hear the announcer there say, no basket, no basket. My parents tell me about when I was a little kid, I'd come home and just walk around saying, no basket, no basket, as Christensen serves. Ended up doing this. So hit wide and a point for the Lancers. They take a 10 to 1 lead here in game two. The moral of the story is you take your kid to athletic events when they're young and they end up finding a microphone and you probably end up regretting that they ever heard a guy say no basket. Two hits called against the Lancers, so no point, says Danny Carmain. And Taylor will serve for Pleasant Valley. Here's Nikki Heil. Off of the touch and on the floor, sign out Lancers. Heil, the transfer from Kansas, the senior. And now Rook will come on and Mariani We'll spell her in the lineup. Noah Schaap to serve. Ten plays, one in game two. Hammered over. Christensen sets it up for Heil. Tight squeeze. Off the touch. Taylor couldn't get there in time. 11-1. Nikki Heil using all that space very effectively. Dinked over and into the net. Fiak was. Dave Aninguez with the call downstairs. And it's 12-1 in game two. Millichap serving from the middle of the lane. Basketball season is among us. Is upon us. Christensen. Heil. Owens plays it. Here's Hill. Bounced over and a side out, courtesy of Krista Hill, a 5'11 senior. And Laura Pangagetti comes up.
Christensen for Mariani. Roofed back, but recovered by the Lancers. Noah Chow, Christensen over the middle. Hansen, Lancers with a big unit out there right now. Off of Hartley, and a point for Pleasant Valley. So it's 12-2, a 10-point lead for the Lancers, and Pleasant Valley with the ball, coming out of their last point. And they get it to serve. Tight squeeze up front, here's Heil. The hammer does the trick. And again, he can't recover. And it's a sign out for the Lancers. Kelly Cognac will replace Hansen, so Hartley and Heil up front. Hartley rejected and sent over by Owens. Christian Owens with the highlight at the net right now for right Pleasant Valley. Let's watch it again. Owens once, twice, done. Sign out Vikings. Aaron Fiak to serve. Christensen for Hartley. He'll miss plays. Sign out Lancers. Coyote and Strick back in the game for St. Francis. Coyote will go up front as Heil and Christensen sit down. And Strick plays it from the left-hand corner. 12 serves, two in game two. Here's Hill into the net. 13-2, the Lancers on the precipice of going up two games to none in the NorCal quarters. A floater by Strick, Hill digs it. Fiak for North. Now yeah, here's Hartley. The knuckleball works. Game point in game number two. Courtesy of Nikki Hartley. Strick to serve for a two games to none late. 14 plays two, a short serve. Bounced over by North. And that's in for the point. Bezinovic with the kill. And the Lancers go up 2-0 in this match. So it's been all St. Francis here at the Rouskow Memorial. We're watching the NorCal quarterfinals on KMVT. Welcome back to St. Francis. St. Francis only allowing three Pleasant Valley points and taking a two games to none lead in this best of five match. Hello again, George Devine with you. The Stacy Millichap fan club out in force tonight here at the Rascom Memorial Gym. Steve Filios hoping this match gets over in a hurry. He's talking with his basketball assistant, Brian Beasley. The longer the volleyball matches go, the less time for basketball practice. Cognac, free balls up for the Lancers. Fiak with the dink set off of Cognac. And a side out for Pleasant Valley. Aaron Fiak to do the serving. Aaron moving well on what appears to be a tender left leg. Remember, she's the center, so she's got to be the most mobile player. When it comes to wearing those knee braces, your lateral motion is really restricted. Here's Coyote. Played by Taylor. Fiak up front for North. And pushed over by Hill. Hill with the roof. And Pleasant Valley has a 1-0 lead in game three. Original starters for Pleasant Valley. Lockhart, North, Taylor, Owens, and Hill. Fiak serving. Strick for Coyote. Into the rafters. Tough play for Lockhart. Free. Fiak, free balls out of the back row. Here's Nikki Heil. Sign out Lancers. High fives for everybody. Desiree Rook to serve. Lancers look for their first point in game three. Trailing one nothing. Fiak has a lot of time to work with. Taylor. 
into the net. Knotted at one. Uno, Uno, and Trent. That's 1-1 one, one in game three. Rook into the net. The scoreboard stays stuck on 1-1. One, one. And Krista Hill, the surf, Pleasant Valley. They look to regain the lead here in game three. Sent long. So those ones stay stuck a little long. Annie Coyote to serve for St. Francis. Here's Taylor. Off the block. Strick with the recovery. Here's Hartley. Hammering home. Point St. Francis. Two to one Lancers. Dory Dyer chewing that gum awfully hard. A floater up front, trouble. Here's Taylor. And Hartley with authority off the ceiling. Hiller recovers for the free ball, but into the net. And it's 3-1 St. Francis. Dave Gamblin, maybe he's got early dinner reservations tonight. His team's working quickly. Rejected up front. Jenna Lockhart hammers the serve down, and it's a side out for Pleasant Valley. So hold Mr. Gamblin's table a little bit longer. And Christiane Owens to serve. Strick has time for high. Locked wide, side out St. Francis. Millichap and Hansen are back for the Lancers. And Millichap will serve. Time for Taylor. Ruth! Kathy Hansen off the bench. Up there for the block. Stacy Millich have to serve. Four plays, one in game three. St. Francis, the two games to none late. Millich out of the middle. Taylor, partly for the dig. And a misplay by Hansen. Side out, Pleasant Valley. Panagetti on to serve. Lockhart sits down. One plays four in game three. Here's Hartley with authority. Sign out St. Francis. Time for Taylor. Strick for Hansen over the middle and redemption. <laughs> Nikki Hartley serving as five plays, one in game three. That's Brownfield off the bench. Millichap out of the back. Taylor led too far. And 6-1 in game three. Here's Hill. A lot of ground to cover. Outside the antenna. And it's 7-1. What can you say if you're Dory Dyer? Partly serve is wide. And what Dyer can say right now is try to score. Pleasant Valley gets it back. Amanda Taylor, 5'10", senior outside hitter, chooses the right side to work from. Strick, swing play for Hansen. Blocked back by Hill. Hartley from the middle. Plays it to Panagetti. Here's Hill again. Rook with the dig. Here's Desiree. 
tucked inside the line. Sign out St. Francis. St. Francis eight points away from the semifinals. Rook again off the block, and it's 8-1. The countdown is at 7. And I, my name is not Dick Clark. Here's Rook's authority off of the block and strict to serve. Here's Hill. Past Rook. And the Vikings a chance to score. Donna Brownfield, the senior, back behind the line, right corner. Coyote has to readjust. Taylor, too much. Side out, Lancers. Changes for both clubs. Heil back for Millichap. Hansen sits down. Kelly Cognac on for St. Francis. Brownfield gets ready to leave. And Marcella Mata, a junior, on for back row help in the Viking line. Fiak for Owens. And Rook having trouble covering the floor. There's a guy who's having some fun. You know, I bet he's wearing a Charlotte Hornets hat, and I bet that young man doesn't remember when the Charlotte Hornets didn't exist. Jennifer Kraft on for St. Francis. We saw Jennifer earlier. Now Fiac to serve. Here's Desiree Rook. And some redemption for Desiree. And now she'll serve. Right in front of our friend in the Hornets hat. And Christensen on for Strick. Time for Lockhart. Coyote has to scramble. Hartley delivers. Nikki Hartley out of nowhere. Thanksgiving comes two days early for Dave Gamblin. Here's Coyote. Fiac has to push one out of the way. Here's Hill. Out of the zip code. The countdown at five for St. Francis. They lead 10-1 in game three. Rook, a bullet. Here's Lockhart with a push. Christensen for Hartley. Off the lines person and out. Steve O'Brien still standing. You know, I wonder if they wear shin guards. Krista Hill to serve. He needed them there. Here's Hartley. A different target and a successful result. The St. Francis bench having some fun. Their team up 10-1 with a two games to none lead here in game three. Annie Coyote plays it for the Lancers. Off of Mata, ace. 11-1 the score here in game number three. And now Julie Mariani comes on for Nikki Hart. And Coyote continues to serve. Mata gets it right this time into the Heil block. 12-1 St. Francis. The countdown to the semis is at three. The winner plays either Leland or Albany. Lockhart up front. Mariani pushes it back. Here's Taylor. 
Christensen for Heil. Locked back, Heil pushes it over. Fiat for Lockhart. Rook from the back line. Here's Mariani. That will not end the rally. Taylor tries to end it. Rook says no. Here's Mariani. Off of Mata. Free ball by Fiat. Rook sends it over, incidentally. Taylor, played by Kraft. Heil, the finishing touch. High fives for everyone except Dory Dyer and Pleasant Valley. 13-1. The countdown to the semis at two. Keone sits down. Cindy Hirsch, a 5'8 sophomore, on to serve. Here's Owens. Hirsch off the bench plays it. Swinging it for Heil. Too long. 13-1 the score. Pleasant Valley two points away from having their season end a long way from home. Hill serving for the Vikings. Heil. Taylor into the block. Mariani scrambles. Heil sends it back for the Lancers. Fiak for Taylor. Rook to the deck. Here's Mariani into the net. And a point for the Vikings. There's Cindy Hirsch. She was promoted to the varsity along with her twin sister Chrissy. Both 5'8 and both sophomores. Both playing volleyball in late November. A family business for the Hirsches. Roof and St. Francis finds themselves two points away from advancing, but watching a 2 0 run being put together by Pleasant Valley. Owen's still serving. Christensen for Heil. Roofed again. And it's 13 4. Rook to the deck. Mariani this time, the floater. Lancers get it back. Millichap comes to the bench. As Chrissy Hirsch comes on, along with Liz Gordon. So Desiree Rook and Mariani and Christensen, the three veterans, Gordon and the Hirsch twins. The rookies on the floor for the Lancers. Here's Lockhart, played by Chrissy. Now Rook sends it over. Hammer down, side out. Amanda Taylor at Pleasant Valley. Amanda Taylor, who make that Lockhart as Taylor went back to serve. So Lockhart will serve. I think Taylor wanted to serve after that momentous slam. Mariani. Here's Taylor again. Mariani for the dig. Christensen. The dink push. Fiak. Off of Cindy Hirsch. And a point for Pleasant Valley. They are within eight at 13-5. Sent long. All the Lancers need is two points. Panagini will come on for back row help as Mariani will try to close this out. The Lancers leading 13-5 in game three. More importantly, 2-0 in the match. Hammered down by Brownfield. Side out Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley on a 4-0 run 
including two unconverted Lancer side outs since Dave Gamblin emptied his bench. Now Taylor serves. Mariani. Miscommunication, side out Lancers. Julie Christensen on to try to bring the Lancers home. Off of Mariani. Owens with the kill. Side out Pleasant Valley. Brownfield to serve. Owens up front. Wants to go home up by five with a win. Here's Liz Gordon. Hammered home. Side out Lancers. Liz Gordon, who was promoted from the JVs earlier in the year, shows why she earned the promotion from Dave Gamblin. She'll sit down for the moment. As Kelly Cognac comes on to serve. Fiak sends it long for Owens. Collision, Christensen and Chrissy Hirsch tying it up up front. Side out, Pleasant Valley. Vesanovic back for Cognac. Dave Gamble playing everybody here in game number three. And plenty of chances. The scoreboard has been stuck on 13 for a while for the Lancers. Here's Rook. Roof! Point Pleasant Valley. 13-6 is the score in game three. Christensen for Hirsch. And Cindy with the exclamation point. Side out St. Francis. Now Desiree Rook to serve. The Lancers need two points to advance. Lockhart. Too much for Vezinovic to handle. Side out, Pleasant Valley. Krista Hill to serve for Pleasant Valley. Christensen for Mariani. Too much confusion going on. Side out, St. Francis. Dave's dinner is getting cold. It was 13-1 before Pleasant Valley rallied off six straight points. Now Cindy Hirsch serving. Mariani into the net. Another side out for Pleasant Valley. St. Francis with six unconverted side outs after scoring their 13th point. See the starters on the bench, Heil, Hartley, Strick, Coyote, Millichap, all regulars who see a lot of time. Now Owens to serve for the Vikings. Six plays, 13 in game three. Chrissy Hirsch with authority. Now the Lancers will try to avoid unconverted side out number seven. Here's your varsity initiation, Chrissy. Liz Gordon back for Vasanovic. So Gordon, the tallest player on the floor at six feet. Back set for Lockhart. Here's Mariani. Off the touch. The Lancers are at match point. Chrissy Hirsch to serve again. Into the net for the sophomore. The 
crowd sits back down after taking to their feet. Christensen, Mariani, Rook, free ball push. Played back by Hill. Here's Taylor. And another tough touch for Chrissy Hirsch. Point Pleasant Valley, it's 7-14. As Pleasant Valley, once down 13 to one, tries to avoid elimination. Long run for Christensen. Too long, and it's 14-8. Lockhart to serve. Christensen sneaks it over up front. Here's Taylor. For the kill, no. Four hits for the Lancers. It's now 14-9 in game number three. Christensen for Mariani. Time for Taylor. Pushed by Christensen. Side out Lancers. Match point number two. And Julie Mariani will try to end this match. A floater rejected back. Lancers recover. Cindy Hirsch into the net. Mariani again. Hill to the deck. Here's Taylor. Cindy, now Rook. Chrissy to the deck, free ball Mariani, block, Gordon recovers. Here's Rook. Semifinals for the Lancers. Dave Gamblin and company have a date on Saturday night with either Leland, who they beat in the CCS Finals, or Albany, a team they lost to in three earlier this season. 15-9 in the third game, along with 15-2 and 15-1 in the preceding games. And it's a 3-0 win in the match tonight for the Lancers as they sent Pleasant Valley home. Pleasant Valley with a good season. They were co-champs in the Eastern Athletic League. They had a good battle this year with Shasta of Reading. They finished the year at 24-5. For St. Francis, they pick up their 25th win of the year against six losses. So St. Francis taking on either Albany or Leland. If Leland wins tonight in Albany, the match is here. If Albany wins, the match is in Albany. For everyone in our KMVT crew, for our producer and director, Lazarus Sargent, technical director, Yolanda Hart. This is George Devine speaking, thanking you for joining us tonight at KMBT and wishing you a very pleasant evening and, of course, the best of Thanksgivings.